kiss my ass. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so recently, Larry Elder, who is running for this recall election for governor in the state of California, he was on the Candace Owens show. I guess she has a, a show on radio. I've never listened to it, but he has made the headlines because he and Candace were discussing slavery and reparations, and he just pretty much came out and said that he is in favor of reparations, but not for the descendants of slaves, but for the slave owners who he said whose legal property was taken from them after the Civil War. Okay, this is just so disgusting that I really could not understand why you had to even go there. There are people who will come out like, um, what's the guy who used to play football? Herschel Walker. He came out and he was saying he was not for reparations because slavery doesn't exist and, you know, systemic racism isn't a real thing. So there shouldn't be any reparations because there are no more slaves. I don't even know why he had to say that. But if someone just comes out and says that they are not for reparations, if that's your opinion, then that's your opinion. But I don't think I've heard anyone white or black or Asian or Arab or Latino, anything that has come out and said that the slave owners, the dis which there are no more slave owners, right? The descendants of slave owners are definitely those that exist should be getting reparations because their property was taken from them and slavery was legal at the time. That is absolutely crazy. But yeah, he said it and he means it. He's 69 years old and he says that the black community plays the victim card. <laughs> oh my God. Plays the victim card. <sighs> Uh, all right, I I'm not even going to divulge into that. But this is being reported by the Gurio, and it says during their conversation, Elder and Owens, who are both black, touched on the topic of reparations, which are commonly advocated for by black activist groups as a way to mitigate the financial repercussions of slavery by transferring federal funds and other resources to America's black communities. Elder, however, argued that enslaved individuals were legally deemed property at the time. He noted that slave owners and their estates are owed compensation for the human property they lost following the end of the Civil War and the passage of the 13th Amendment, which partially abolished slavery after 1865. He says, when people talk about reparations, do they really want to have that conversation? Like it or not, slavery was legal. Their legal property was taken away from them after the Civil War. So you can make an argument that the people that are owed reparations are not only just black people, but also the people whose property was taken away after the end of the Civil War. The conversation began when Owens, known for using her platform to spread misinformation, this is what the Griot stating, incorrectly stated that the United States was one of the first countries that banned the slave trade. The U.S. was actually one of the last to do so, according to PolitiFact. In response, Elder said that the United Kingdom's government compensated slave owners with substantial amounts of money after they lost their property. This was a major reason why the U.K. never fought a battle like the Civil War in America, Elder argued. And he says, you look at the amount of money adjusted for today's dollars, it's a great deal of money that the former slave owners got, which is one of the reasons they didn't fight a war. And he's talking about in the UK. <sighs> this is absolutely crazy because we could argue that reparations doesn't just come in a form of just large cash distributions to people. But when you look at the disparities of the descendants of slave owners versus the descendants of slaves, who's on top? Who has gotten the, you know, who, who, who's gotten the majority of what 
is going to help them to proceed and move forward in life that would be the slave owners and the descendants of slave slave owners because there have been different things that have been done through different programs and through the systems of the government that has put those who are on the side a the descendants of slave owners versus those that are on the side of side b those who are the descendants of african slaves and so i'm not going to get into all of that because that is not my you know expertise there are definitely people that you can follow like tone talks on youtube who actually created the ados movement Afri african descendants of slaves and i highly encourage those who don't follow that to follow him to get more breakdowns of information and i really like his perspective because he is an attorney who comes with facts and data and so for someone like larry elder who's running for office right now you're pandering you're pandering to an audience of people you're playing to the base of the trump and the you know the trump people and the republicans to say oh that's that's a really good negro we need to go and vote for him and i'm just i'm not even trying to be funny i'm just being serious because for him to come out and say something like that that is just pretty much ridiculous to justify one justify something that should have never been legal so just to say well it was legal and they had their property taken from them you're calling black people property they never should have been you should have never been your your ancestors and my ancestors should have never been property we are people we're not property it never should have been legal for so for him to justify this and say well they had their property taken away from them so they should if you want to say that reparations are due they also should be due for the, the slave owners and their descendants that is just absolutely insane the the guy is just reaching he's running to be the the you know unanimated version of uncle ruckus from the boondocks because for him to say something like that is just crazy and i couldn't believe it when i heard it i've heard a number of other people talking about it i was trying to decide whether i was going to make a comment about it but some some things it just kind of leaves you speechless and I don't know how he sleeps at night being the type of person that he is. There's nothing wrong with if you want to be a Republican, do that. If you want to be a Democrat, do that. I am neither. I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I'm not an independent. I just see what I see. And I don't think there's much good on either of those sides. So I can't say, oh, well, it's the lesser of two evils. Like, no, for me, I don't, I, I don't subscribe to any of the parties. Do I vote? When I'm able to, I absolutely have voted and I voted a number of times. I have voted for Republicans and I voted for Democrats over the years. I've never been somebody that's been a card carrying um, party affiliate because there's just a lot of bullshit that goes on with these people. And this is another person that's shoveling a whole lot of it. For him to call for reparations for the descendants of slave owners is absolutely insane and you know if he is okay with him getting whipped and his ancestors getting whipped and you think that that's okay and they were property then go and be a slave then don't don't run for office don't run for political office go and go and do that go and work for free and be property for someone because i'm quite sure that like he said he doesn't believe in the minimum wage he said he believes that the minimum wage should be zero he doesn't believe in any unpaid family leave for jobs. He doesn't believe that there is a gender wage gap. Like he doesn't believe in a lot of things that are actually real. So like if you want to be Uncle Ruckus and you want to be living in this world of just serving those who don't look like you because you're a black man you know you know i don't think you really want to be i'm just being honest i don't think he really wants to be a black man i really believe that he wants to if he could bleach his skin <laughs> and just come out and say that he was white i believe that he is one of those people that would want to be that just like uncle ruckus has said on the boondocks i don't believe that he is any different and when when magruder made that cartoon 
when I tell you he was talking about people that we didn't even really know he was talking about at the time, he was spot on. It was pretty much prophetic in a number of different ways about a number of different people when he talked about Obama, when he talked about, you know, R. Kelly during the trial and just a number of different episodes from that show. He was being pretty prophetic and it's kind of sad. It's not even funny, but it's real. And Larry Elder, it's disgusting for him to say something like that. He should be ashamed of himself. I don't live in California. I don't know what is best for that state. I would never choose to live there. I've visited many times and it's just not for me. I'm just saying, get out there and vote. Do not let this man (laughs) become your next governor. If anyone would come out of their mouths and say something like that, not to just think it, but to say it, can you imagine what he has coming for you? So get out there and vote against him. I would probably rather have Caitlyn Jenner as a governor versus this guy. But hey, Caitlyn's running too, so you can go and vote for her. Anyway, <laughs> let me know your thoughts about all of this in the comment section. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Comment respectfully. And until the next time, I'm just being beautifully honest. Kiss my ass.